early spring. As the snow melts and the anglers arise out of their bivvies, trees begin to grow their leaves and plants start to flower. As the Yorkshire anglers lay down their predator gear for the season, it was time to target carp. The question is, have they woken up yet? <laughs> Get your wrestling troops on, lad. <laughs> Winter months had passed and spring was upon us. The Yorkshire anglers had been into a few fish at the start of this season with some lovely carp and perched ashore for their effort. As 2020 was a write-off, we decided to give a little back this year by hosting a charity fishing match in aid of two charities, Phoenix Heroes and Young Minds. We took a little trip to workshop before trying out the match venue Kathleen's itself. Looking forward to catching our niche night spring. I am doing, we haven't been having much luck like have we, but uh, never fear, I've got a, I've got a bit of a theory me. Oh yeah? Ah, you want to hear it? Ah, go on then. Well, there's carps there, in a lake, in between a couple of weeds like that. <laughs> she's dreaming. Do you know what she's dreaming of? What? She's dreaming about eating a sausage bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we've been going wrong. We need to put a bit of sausage on on, on hooks. Ah, we'll get it well. Oh ah. Nidge, there were a sign back there for a hidden dip. Oh ah. What was it? Salsa. <laughs> bit of mayo. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take out at this time of the morning. I think it bent the road dog cocker. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well. ah, come in ST they said. Come in ST. Tell you what, Coco, Kyle, whatever you want to be called. You didn't mention we need four by bleeding four for this. <laughs> Gotta focus ST, pal, you're taking the Michael. <laughs> Look at this, it's like a like total wipeout for a car. I feel like we should be in a Red Bull challenge or something. <laughs> oh god, I hope I don't scrape the bottom of that car. Oh nice and steady. Ooh. Steady, nice and steady wins the race. We're through, Patrick. We're through. We're through. Now where do we go? Oh, we're back out at gate. And on. <laughs> <laughs> Arriving in workshop late, we were greeted by a number of anglers already in the pegs that we had chosen. We watched the lake for a period of time for shores and baited up spots close to the island. We wasted no time in getting our rigs out tight to the island margin where we had seen a few fish show. This lake was full of bream and we definitely didn't want them. Oh, he's in tree. That's it, job's knackered. Time to pack up. We don't get much closer than that. Oh, uh, the accuracy, second to none. So here we are today, and Jontis had the catch of the f Start again. So here we are today, glorious conditions, works up, that's where we are, works up. And Jontis has been stocking his prey perfectly, like a true stalker, after the women of the night. And what's he got? Catch of the season. You won't believe it, I've caught the biggest clam. Oh. You'll ever see in your life. It's massive. This. It is a big one, that. Twenty-five pound, you reckon? I'd say about forty. <laughs> took, took some unhooking. Jesus. We're gonna, we're gonna get a quick way up, get her on unhooking, Matt, and then we're gonna get her back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a beauty. <laughs> massive. The size of that. Now we're gonna see the, the careful but gentle release. Gently, just rest it for a little moment, and then the clam swims away. It's also that. 
With no fish to show for our efforts other than the huge 25 pound freshwater mussel, we decided to call it a day. We had another trip planned shortly after to check out the venue we had booked for the Yorkshire Anglers charity match. for about 10 minutes at Kathleen's. We're doing a bit of pre-fishing, pre see what the match is going to be like on, uh, when is it, the 20... 25th, 24th, 25th. Can't remember when it is. We'll put it in comment section. But yeah, summer. we're into a nice little common. 20 summer for you. Let's get her back. Swimming tip bottom, isn't it? There you go, Sheila. With Curtis getting off the mark with this lovely common, it wasn't long after that Kyle managed to get a run himself. This morning, oh, let's move this out. Uh, move that out to. <coughs> so it's our first time at Kathleen's Carp Lake. Obviously, where we're going to be um, holding our match event in June. Been here for about an hour and a half now. Set up. Kurt's already had one, and then I've just got myself into this nice little mirror carp. Mirror carp, common carp. Common carp. Minutes later. Minutes later. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. It's a nice little one. Um, you got your camera, Tiff. Let's get a couple of photos. We'll put it in the stink bag. <laughs> Give it a little rest, wait and see what we come up to. It's a good start to the day. It is, brother. Good start. Got a boat here. Right, so have you got a camera rolling, Kurt? I have. So it's going to give it a little way, see what. We've decided that it's a fully scaled mirror, this one. £11 for our game. £11 for? Nice fish. Oh no, hang on. Come on, what we're saying? No, £11 for. £11 for, do you want to weigh it again? That's what Nidge likes to do. It's dotting between £11 three and £11 five if you'll watch it. Lovely jubbly. £10.9 10 there. Well, I'm taking £11 for anyway. Let's get her back. With Giles fully scaled, weighing in at £11 for it was time for a few words from the main man himself. So as you can see, in previous episodes, he used to have been wrapped up to back nines, minus 40. Today, I've actually got some sun cream on. Bama's heart, factor 40. Bama's heart. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are, Kathleen's, where the charity match is going to be held. Curtis, the greatest cameraman in Yorkshire, is already bagged up. An old cocaine insane over there has already bagged up too. A nice £11 for fully scaled mirror. Beauty she was. He needs to get his sun cream on soon. <laughs> <laughs> factor 50. Fact, factor 150. <laughs> so, Captain Curtis has kindly just uh, done me a little baggy. Not that kind of baggy. And uh, we're going to have a little cast in and try and get me a Tiflal one now. Beautiful, Patrick. Nicely in margins, as Coco would say. With Nidja's beautiful cast nicely in the margins, it wasn't long before... 
Kyle was in again. There's an half scrap. Second carpet today, nice little common carp. Um, this wasn't on Oz baits this time, but it's a nice one. We're into a couple of fish. Let's see if we can get a decent throw to it. <laughs> get your wrestling trucks on, lad. Get your wrestling trucks on. Carp at the end of the day, um, so we're doing all right, aren't we? We are, lad. Let's get a couple more. Maybe a bit bigger. All right, let's get him back. Right, so we're going to get this nice little common back. Let's give it a little rest. But it didn't fight too much when it came in. So hopefully it splashes off. Splashes it off. Right, third one of the day. Second for me. Let's get reset and get back in eh? Ding dang do. Ding dang do. With Kyle catching this lovely little common, the carp weren't the only ones that were hungry today. Are you rough, son? No, I'm filming you. How are you filming me? <laughs> Just doing a couple of snap bounders. <laughs> Tell you what we do want. We want a bacon and black pudding bounder. Yeah. I wonder what we'd need to cook a bacon and black pudding sandwich. For that delicious tungsten putty. <laughs> Hmm. What, what could we possibly need? Well, you need your bacon. Which we've got, Jack. Your, your black pudding. Which we've also got, Jack. You probably need some form of heat. Which we have now got. Yeah, we did, have you? What we're we missing? Mm. Oh, I know. You need a frying pan. Oh, of course you would, yeah. Have we got one of those? Have we, sod? Oh. Where's our pan? I wonder who was supposed to fetch it. <laughs> it's gonna hate us when he watches this. Oh, he bags it where it's covering him. <laughs> oh, bastard. <laughs> no. Oh, we're filming you, but bags it where. <laughs> That's it. It's going for the frying pan. Breakfast is on Tiff Bees. Tiff saving the day, going to collect the frying pan. It wasn't long before. And he's in again. Missed you, missed you playing it, but I've got you now. You've got me now? Yeah. So this is the first fish of the day for me. Third. Um, third. third. Sound like you said first then. No, it's like the third. Pissy. I lost one just before this. But this is a nice little common carp. Just pull that one. Are you sure that's a common? Is a common. It's definitely a common. Is net going? Can't do what? Oh yeah, so third fish of the day. I was caught on a, a sticky mulberry pop up. Fluoro yellow. But yeah, it's a nice one. Happy days. I'll give it a bit of a away, see what they are. Just so we can get an average of what. It's actually coming out of here. <laughs> you what? It's not the same fish. Well, it gets upset if you say stuff like that. Just did break swim today, shouldn't I? Yeah. What were you, what were Pike you used to catch all the time? Green eye. Green, green eye, yeah. Not a, not a green eye. <laughs> it's not a green eye, yeah. That pike, There's honest to God. Scales here, mate. He's invited to Christmas dinner, that pike. <laughs> green eye. <laughs> So we just weighed that little common, it weighs £8.8. Eight. £8.8, £8. Eight, not, not bad, a man. massive one, but we're going to get it back. Yeah, 
nie mówi on. Have you got some sun cream on, sir? Oh, you're as, red, you're as red as that pop, pink pop up you've just got that carp on. It was actually you're yellow. As red as that pink pop <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Through all the excitement, Kyle forgot to photograph the fish. However, living up to its name, this runs water was the perfect venue, and he was in again. It. You're recording? Nearly a fully scaled eye. Ah, I was recording. Alright, so this is a four for today. Um, How many you lost? Lost three, add four. Whew. Which one was that? It was me. Oh, is it? <sighs> Lovely that. Lovely little fully scaled. We had a fully scaled this morning as well. Yeah. How do we do it? Yeah. What was that? Go on, teach him the ways. Because he's clever. Put, yeah. right, so put, yeah. <laughs> put, put your. Yeah. Put your fingers. Yeah. Put your fingers. Put your fingers. Put this one. Yeah. Put that one. Under the air. And put that on Bridget no, tail. Tough. On Bridget yeah. tail. Shoot it down. Right on this yeah. fin here. There. Yeah. Fold that fin down and have them just underneath this fin. Yeah. Tilt it forward. There you go, lad. A little bit better. You want to take a picture, Tiff? Yeah. That's why my other ones look rubbish. The hands are what? Slide. What? Nice bird. Four fish, Kyle decided to call it a day. The rest of the Yorkshire anglers fished on, with Curtis getting a take next. Right, I've only waited about seven hours for my next fish, but I've managed to catch a little feisty ghost. So this is going to be a nightmare to hold. As they always are. Oh, Get your wrestling trunks here, lad. Wrestling trunks are lad. Well then, brother. Let's get you one, bro. Hopefully. With the little ghosty finally staying still for a picture, I've kept my word. We managed to get Niji one. And it was over the moon. There you go, lad. Finally caught a calf. Just smile for me a minute. Finally caught a calf on a Osbait pop up, funnily enough. Waited all day. Thought it wouldn't be another blank. But we've got one finally. Nice little common, but all the same. Welcome. What a fish. You happy lad? Yes. Hey. I'll get this one back. Thanks for ending my very, very long blanking spell. Much appreciated. There we go, he's gone. Niji was over the moon catching his first carp, saving him from another blank street. See this guy here, lads. An absolute twat. Oh, 
always done all day is bloody moan, moan, moan. I tell you what, I'm sick of it. Catches one carp, loves it again. <laughs> loves it again. It's all right, this carp fishing lad, isn't it? Yeah, that's not what you were saying 10 minutes ago. I think I might get some new rods. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs>